Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Queenie Mindset and today's video is very important because in this video we are just going to discuss about how to identify your problems. So let's get started. Identifying your areas of problem or areas needing improvement can be crucial to personal and professional growth. Here's how you can go about it. Number one point that we're going to be discussing here is self-reflection. Take time to reflect on your experiences, actions and outcomes. Consider situations where you felt challenged or encountered difficulties. Think about what went wrong, what could have been done differently and what you could learn from those experiences. Second point is solicit feedback. Ask for feedback from trusted friends, colleagues, mentors or supervisors. They can offer valuable insights into your strengths and weaknesses from an outer perspective. Be open to constructive criticism and use it as an opportunity to grow. Next, we have to consider the point self-assessment tools. There are various self-assessment tools or quizzes that are available online as well as in the books that can help you identify your weaknesses, strengths, personality development and areas for development. That can help you identify your strengths, weaknesses, personality traits and areas for development so that you can improve in future. These tools can provide a structural approach to self-discovery. Next point is set goals. That's like a very crucial one. You need to set goals. Set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound smart goals for yourself. Determine what you want to improve and set clear objectives to work towards your goal. Break down your goals into smaller manageable tasks to make progress more achievable. Fifth point is review performance reviews. So here, if you have access to performance reviews or evaluations from your previous job, courses or projects, then review them carefully. Look for recurring themes or areas where you receive constructive feedback. Use this information to prioritize areas for improvement. Next point is seek training and development opportunity. Identify areas where you would like to develop new skills as well as enhance the previous ones. Seek out training programs, online courses, workshops or professional development opportunities that align with your goals and interests. Seventh point is like one of my favorite ones. So it's very important to keep a journal. Keep a journal to track your emotions, thoughts or experiences on a regular basis. Reflecting on your journal entries can help you identify patterns, challenges and areas where you need to focus your attention. Eighth point is you need to stay open-minded. Be open to explore new ideas, perspectives and experiences. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. Stay curious and proactive in seeking out new knowledge and experiences. Next point which you have to consider here is measure progress. Regularly assess your progress towards your goals and objectives. Monitor your performance, celebrate your successes and learn from your setbacks or failures. Adjust your approach as needed to stay on the track and continue moving forward. Okay, so this is the last point, which is um, last but not the least, of course, uh, there can be more points which I can add to it. But just to, you know, conclude this video, I would like to end it with the last point, which is seek professional help if you need it. If you are struggling to identify your areas of problems or experiencing significant challenges, consider seeking guidance from a career coach, counselor or mentor. They can provide personalized support and guidance to help you gain clarity and develop strategies for improvement. By taking a proactive approach to self-assessment and personal development, you can identify your areas of problems and take meaningful steps towards achieving your goals and fulfilling your potential. So um, through this video, I just want to give you a very important lesson is that sometimes we feel that we are not good enough, right? So uh, at that point of time, you do not have to feel low and just uh, just sit with yourself and think about it. Um, every person goes through highs and lows. Like it's a life, uh, you have to go through roller coaster emotions. So sometimes you feel there are like a lot of problems around. So in order to identify your areas of problem, first of all, you need to reflect, you know, self-reflect. As I already mentioned, that that's the first point, self-respect, uh, self-reflect. Uh, so uh, you need to identify what's the problem, like why you're getting, uh, you know, low vibes and what is bothering you. So sit with yourself and, you know, just discover your areas of problems and work towards it because eventually uh, after you know if you like eradicate those points if you go, if you want to know first uh, you need to know what are your problems okay basically write it down somewhere make maintain a journal as i already told you um express your emotions there you know just maintain a um, journal for suppose one week you are maintaining it so each day what is making you sad when whenever you're feeling sad or you're 
getting a vibe of grief then what could be the reason you know uske aas paas what you were doing kiski wajah se you uh, felt that negative vibe or negative emotion then write it down and then work towards it uh, thoda sa different uh, uh, days mein apne kuch activities you can con- include so that uh, you can have a happening life so basically it's just a temporary phase if you're feeling like stuck somewhere so um, for that just need to identify your areas of problem and once you identify them you will work towards them to you know eradicate them completely from your life and once you have like achieved that thing uh, then it's like nothing it's nothing actually it's nothing it's just in our mind so we just need to refresh from you know every now and then um, i can't assure you that after you know um, reflecting what is bothering you after reflecting after solving everything uh, at some stage of time again you'll get those those you know same negative vibes so for that uh, time again maintain a journal or identify so it's like a long process and it's not something that is like temporary um, uh, no no it's not and it's not something that is like permanent okay grief is not permanent happiness is not per- permanent so you need to understand that and if some day is bad then the other day is going to be good so yeah reflect self reflect self reflection is the key um to eradicate any problem that you are having around you so yeah so follow these points and we'll going to be like back with a new topic in the next episode okay so the next topic that we are going to be discussing on our next vlog is how to build self esteem so i'll be teaching you some ways of building self esteem because self esteem is very important and we should know our own worth so that we can feel the whole so yeah we're going to be discussing in our next video um, how to build self esteem so agar aapko ye video pasand aayi hai so please channel ko like kariye subscribe kariye share kariye aur bahut sare comments kariye and abhi i'm just working on the personality development course so yeah bahut acche acche interesting topics pe videos aane wali hai so i just need your motivation down like there in the comments so yeah thank you so much for watching it i hope you guys like it um bye bye have a good day